everyone, this is Pink Bubble 1607. Um, I'm going to do the second video in my back to school series, and this one is on how I organise my desk for school. So I hope you guys find this helpful and maybe get some good tips out of it. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to um, either message me in the bar below or through my channel. Um, yeah, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Okay, first I'll give you an overview of my desk and then I'll go through what's in it. My desk goes from here, goes all the way around here, and here, and up there. And I also have some stuff on the shelf and on the side of it as well but I'll go through that when I get to it. First we'll start from this corner of my desk um, I have in this corner I have a box of tissues, a hole punch, a tape dispenser and this little grey thing is a staple remover. Then I have my little calculator which sits there be and it's also easy access. I have books I'm reading, two books. I have this paperback dictionary and thesaurus. And below that I just have my journal, um, which I've, I keep in the box to keep it clean and tidy. And then I have, next to that, I have a couple of coasters. And I have my water bottle. Behind that I have this fellow. And he's an owl and a graduation gown, cap and gown, and um, then I have next to him, I have this little holder, and it has, I keep a pen, pencil, and then a phone, I have a watch, and a memo cube, then I have a stapler, mints, and a glue stick, then I have this box, Paris Collection Sierra Edition box. Um, gosh. These coffee mugs here, they came in that box. But what I actually use the box for now is to store pens and stuff in it. Um, I got this idea from another YouTube user. I'll link her name when I upload this. Um, and she puts rubber bands around things to keep them organised and I tried it and it really worked so yeah and that way too with this box it keeps everything organised and tidy and it's easy access ok then I have some aquacus gum um, I have a little owl which is just in a cap and gown and he's holding his degree then I have a post-it mini cube and a stack of post-its behind it. Next to that I have this container. Um, I bought that container from the warehouse in New Zealand. They still have them. I saw them when I was in there today. And they're around six, seven dollars and it comes with um, bulldog clips or folder clips, whatever you like to call them. Um, little ones, it comes with push pins and it comes with paper clips, um, two sizes comes and I keep that there because it's just handy, easy access and you never know when you might want that stuff then I have um, six bigger folder clips or bulldog clips, whatever you like to call them in blue, pink and white and I use those if I need to clip things together and I keep them there so they're easy access then I have my bottle of whiteout. Next to that I have my chocolate milk. Down there by her legs um, I have this little strawberry lip balm and it's from Diva. And I keep it there in case I need it. Um, yeah, it's just something cute and nice to have. I've left all of this space empty because I'm going to need it to spread out my box and my notebooks and what have you when I'm studying. I have my printer, 
Classic Canon Pixlr. It's just a plain white printer. It prints, copies and scans. It's really good, but yeah, it's as you can see from the top of it, it's big. Then I have on top of the printer, I have this little photo. And that is me when I was a child. And that is one of my grandpas and we were on a um, trip. We went down to Wellington and we stopped at this park in Monganui on the way down. And if you know New Zealand, you'll probably know Wellington and Wanganui, so yeah. Okay, then, then I have this, these two cupboards here, and behind them I have extra stationery. Like, I have extra supplies in there, like general stuff that you need extras of. Okay, come around here. Um, Oh, up there I have my lamp and in front of it is a photo of me and my grandpa which is the same person that was in the other little photo and that was taken on the same trip so yeah it's very young there <laughs> oh and this is my window by the way I've got my blind shut at the moment because it's quite hot it's very hot it's like 26 degrees that's centigrade um then coming around here I have um, my hutch up there I just have makeup, TV, jewelry, which is nothing to a school, so I won't go into that. Um, I have some CDs down here. Most of the CDs on here are classical or instrumental ones, which are nice to listen to when I'm studying. I like listening to classical music as long as it's not. I, I turn the volume down quite low, but yeah. That ugly blue thing is my internet connection. Unfortunately, I still have that, but I have managed to hide it a bit better. Um, in front of that, I have this um, clipboard. Um, it's a copy holder board, and if you can get hold of one of these, um, they are brilliant because I have it sitting next to my laptop. And when it comes to doing my assignments, I can type up the final draft before I send it off because uh, at my school all our assignments have to be typed um, you know word processed so yeah I do them on that and I just can I can put copy on there clip it on there and I can easily see it because my laptop is next to it um, and I have some photos which I need to get some frames for and some envelopes there in here I have, this is just a remote for my stereo, underneath it I have a post-it folder which if you've seen my first video in my back to school series and my school supplies, I talk about that there. Underneath it I have a booklet for to-do lists, um, a budget sheet that I was working out for when I go and do my contact courses which I'll explain about that in my organised video as well. And then it's just another little notebook in case I run out of my to-do list pad. Next to that I have my agenda or my planner or diary, whatever one you like to call it. It's pink and I keep it there because it's easy reach if I'm facing either that way or this way. Next I have my laptop on this part of my desk and it's on YouTube at the moment because I am uploading a movie. I'll show you guys what my desktop wallpaper is. It's Paris! Hey! Behind my laptop, if I close it up a little bit, I have these Anatomica flashcards. I have this little Hello Kitty sitting on the couch. I think she's really cute, so I put her up there. have some lotion. Um, then I have this little Hello Kitty box and I have these little headphones here, um, the earbuds, I have them there because if I want to do something on my computer late at night, um, I can, I can stick the headphones in and I don't disturb my um, parents when they're trying to sleep. And I have this little pen box I keep here just in case I need to jot something down. Um, then I have a candle. I have this little bracelet that my great grandmother bought me when she bought me one and my cousin one when I was a baby. Um, yeah, so I keep it there because it's sentimental. I have this vase with some artificial roses in it. I have hand sanitizer. 
I have a perfume bottle there because it's cute. I have a memo pad and some little sticky notes that match the memo pad. Um, next to my laptop I have a mouse. I have a photo of my rabbit. Isn't she cute? And I have this little clown doll and a, it's actually a pin. Um, yeah, it's my mouse. It's a wireless mouse. Then I have this. This is actually a pin board. But I found at a thrift store an old map of Paris and I put that over it because I think it looks better. I have this little picture I found pinned to my board. It's of a panda and I put it up there because he's laughing and he's really cute. So it's just something to keep me happy when I'm working at my desk. And a little mask and she's music inspired and I've had her since I was about 10 or 12. I can't remember about that age. That wall behind there is purple. Um, that's actually a good tip. Um, even though it may look a bit cluttered, I have actually put some personal stuff on there, like my moose, my owl, my photos, some flowers, little ornaments. Um, because it helps. It's sort of inspirational. Like it gives you motivation. Well, it does with me anyway. Because and if you can make like your study area really cute surrounded by stuff that pardon me, you really like then you're going to be more motivated to study so yeah that helps me so that's what I do then here on the shelf like the top has my stereo the main unit for the stereo on speaker there and the lines over there um, then coming down this shelf and on the shelf below the stereo that was a little diversion I have these three magazine holders um, and they were pink. This one is pink. It's just I, where I had it, it was in the sun and it's faded a bit, which is really annoying. This one came with a little label. Um, these two here are actually school book labels. I bought them in um, a, like a dollar store or something that we have in have here. Um, it's from a store called the two and five dollar shop we have them all over New Zealand okay anyway in this one I have my notebooks for semester two um, so I have a couple of notebooks I have some my degree plan in there and I have some printer paper I have this notebook that my, I got from my niece for Christmas I keep it in there in case I need it and I have my exam kit in there and I just I found this cute little pencil case to put it in and the reason I've used this I know this pencil case name seems childish but it has to be in either a clear cl clear, bleh, clear case or a ziplock bag because they need to be able to see what you've got in the case okay um, because of cheating not that I would ever do that I think it's stupid that people that cheat in exams you're just cheating yourself but I'm not going to get into that here um, then next to that I have this other pink one, this one's plastic and this is my semester one notebooks and I have some pens clipped onto the front of it I have a pink highlighter I have my calculator which I'm going to need for one of my papers because I'm doing um, intro research for psychology and we need a scientific calculator and this is the one that they said we needed um, then I have my notebooks for the three papers I'll be doing the first semester in there and then my um, zebra notebook which I'll go into more detail about that when I come to my organisation book then in this file I just have a couple of permanent markers I have these two pens, uh, high roller pens by Smiggle. Um, yeah, this one had a clip on it too, but I got bored and I was clicking it and I broke the clip off. It's really stupid. But um, I found that these, I can write on my calendar with these and they don't go through and leave marks on the f next page. I keep those there so I can use it to write on my calendar. and my textbook, I don't have all of my textbooks, I have a couple of them um, but um, yeah, I'm waiting for to get the rest of my material for my papers and then I'll 
be sending away for my tax box but I want to get them all in one, one lump because then it saves me A, bank fees and B, it also saves me career fees so yeah, if you don't have to pay for extra things like couriers and stuff, don't. Yeah, this is the book I have so far for semester one. It's called Research Methods and Statistics in Psychology. And I don't want to do the paper, but I have to. <sighs> Never mind. Then I have this folder. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my bow up. Um, I have this folder here, and I, what I do with this, it's just a file box like the ones I showed you I bought in my school supplies video and what I use that for I keep my school documents in there and I keep um, finance documents um, little study guide books that I've got and I also keep in there any articles I find on study tips and then I just have three of these folders they're just pink folders, they undo. So I have them there, and what I'm going to do with those is when I get my assignments back, they will go straight into those folders. So I keep them until the end of the semester when I file them away. Okay, let me come down one more, and I have these two magazine racks. I know they're icky and disgusting. These two are mesh ones, which I hate, but I have them and I don't see the point of replacing them because they're still in perfect working order but when they break I will be replacing them um, here I have I also have some bookmarks up in here too yep, because I might need them for my textbook so yeah um, I have some other textbooks this one is for one of the papers I'm doing second semester which is popular music studies um, so I'm going to need that for that. Um, this is just a psych book. It's how to write psych reports that we had to get. Um, this one is called The Artist's Way, which I'm going to need for one of my papers I'm doing later in the year. Um, so yeah, I got given that one and that one, so yeah, it saves some money. <laughs> um, I have some book labels. I have an exam tips booklet in there which I can't show you at this stage because it has my school's name written all over it and um, yeah so when I do my organisation I'll figure out some way of covering that up so I can show you and I just have a clear plastic 30 centimetres yeah 30 centimetre roller in there because you never know when you might need one okay in this next little one I have some but sheet protectors because they actually not only can you use them for school but if we go around here and look at these these are actually these little posters here are in sheet protectors and it protects them not only does it protect them but if you get bored of what you've got up there you can take them out and replace them without having to damage the walls or the posters so that's great um, Anyway, back to this file, I have some, t I have two value pads that I found um, lying around the house in my room when I was going through my school supplies and they, all I pretty much use those for is if I'm writing drafts for essays because I use notebooks for my notes, so yeah. And then I have this yellow ruled pad. Um, and I've got this because I actually read somewhere, and I'm hoping this will work. If you write your exam notes on yellow paper with purple pen and clip it together with a red clip, it's supposed to be good luck um, and it will help you concentrate better. So I haven't tried that one yet, but it's something I'm going to try and see if it does work. And if it does, I'll let you guys know. And if it doesn't, I'll also let you know. So yeah. Hopefully it does, but if anyone has heard that and has tried it, let me know and tell me how you've um, found that experience. And I've also got this other little uh, little notebook, it's a spiral notebook that I keep there because I'm um, 
you'll need that for second semester for one of my papers which I know I'm not going to have a lot of notes but I'm going to need enough need something to write some on um, then I have this um, I'm actually waiting on two more of these this is from my school um, I do distance learning studies through college um, I had to cover the name of my yeah. school on the bottom um, that's one of the folders that I've sent out there's going to be two more of those coming yay but um, yeah they send those out and that's the course material for one of my papers so that's that and then at the moment I just have a pencil my pencil case for school in there and my coloured pencils um, but I'll do a separate video on what's in my pencil case and they will be getting moved anyway because like I said there are two more of those lovely blue folders coming and they are going to have to go in there so yeah I'll have to find somewhere else to put those but yeah, for now they're in there um, then underneath um, that is my art supplies um, yeah that's a, this is just a, one of those wheel storage boxes I have if you've seen my room tour you would have seen them because I have a blue one and a green one in my wardrobe and it's shows you on that this is an art box and there's a palette on top of it and a sketchbook that's just for fun I'm not an art student in college that's just a hobby of mine and then I have a cube in the corner and it has magazines in it and um, then I just have like my beauty case down there and yes that is a coffin it's a pencil case or pen box or whatever you can use it for that or jewellery but and then I have this little shelf it has a pull-out shelf on it but on my pardon me on my desk but I'm not going to pull it out because a lot of what's in there at the moment is junk okay so yeah oh and then up here I have my calendar it's of Paris okay, I use the pink to write on this is when school starts it's February the 28th when school starts, I know it's ages away, but I, I just want to be really organised this year. And I just cross things out with the purple and all right, anything that's going on in pink. And then I've got some due dates written on there where I know when some of my stuff is due. But I haven't got all of my stuff yet, so I don't know the rest of my due dates. But yeah. And yeah, that's the picture for this month of the Eiffel Tower. If you know Paris, that's the park that it's near, so I'm not sure what the name of the park is offhand, um, but if you know Paris, you'll know it. And it just has different pictures of Paris right throughout the year. Yeah, so yeah, that's the end of my best tour organisation videos. Um, I, video. I know it may seem a little bit weird to you guys how I've set my desk up, but for me this works perfectly well. So why it's working, I'm going to keep using it, and if I do change it or anything, I'll do an update. But for now, that's the end of this video. And if you have any questions, questions, comments, let me know, and I'll see you next time in part three, which will be, um, I think it's going to be staying organised because I haven't got all my planner ready yet. So yeah, okay, so. Until next time, take care and have a great week. Bye.